when n number of cells are there, each one are identical. Each one of them is identical. Okay. So if there are n number of identical cells and they are connected in the same polarity, then what you do? So when you have got n number of identical cells and same polarity means what? Plus should be connected to the minus of the next, then plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. So remember this, remember this. In series, same polarity means plus to minus, then minus to plus, then again minus to plus, then plus to minus, then minus to plus and so on. Which means the terminal should be alternate. This is how you should be connecting it. Did you understand? This is the meaning of same polarity. Okay. When, when we are talking about series connection. When we are talking about series connection. Okay. When we are talking about series connection, this is the meaning of same polarity. Don't make a mistake in that. So if we have got n number of cells like these, you know, you go on adding them e1 plus e2 plus and e1 is equal to e2 is equal to e3, same old story. E equivalent will be equal to n times of e and r equivalent will be equal to n times of r. Correct? No problem. So if you want to replace this by an equivalent cell, what will be the e equivalent emf? That is going to be n times of e and what is going to be the value of r equivalent? That is going to be equal to equal to n times of small r. Okay. So, going further, if you add a extra resistance, that is the external resistance and then when you switch on the circuit, then what will happen? So, if I add an external resistance of capital R, okay, and then I close the circuit, what I'm going to get? What I'm going to get? R equivalent will be nothing but this capital R plus the equivalent resistances because of all of these internal resistance, right? So what I can write now, R equivalent is going to be equal to capital R plus N times of R. And what about current now? The current, current will be what? Current as we know is going to be equal to then equivalent EMF divided by the equivalent resistance. So what I can write, I is equal to E equivalent divided by R equivalent. What do we get now? E equivalent is N times of E and R equivalent is capital R plus N times of small r. Correct. This will be the expression of the current. Easy. Go on noting it down. These are very simple stuff. Come on. Okay. So go on. Keep on noting it down and I need not mention it again and again that you need to make your running notes. The running notes are the best form of your notes that you can ever get because this is how you have understood. All right. So all this till this point, everything okay. All chilled out. No problem. Okay. Now that we know about the value of I, now we apply certain condition. We say that if I look at the denominator and if I say that if this external resistance is much, much greater than the internal resistance or sum of this entire internal resistance NR, then in this expression, can you neglect the value of nr yes of course and then you will get the value of current as i is equal to n e divided by capital r this will start behaving like an ideal cell like a cell which is having no internal resistance at all okay but trust me for all practical purposes there will be some internal resistance all right there will be some internal resistance and if i Take it the other way around, which means because of all these additions of internal resistance, there comes a point such that the value of the internal resistance is so much such that the value of external resistance in comparison to this equivalent internal resistance can be neglected, which means what I'm saying is if it so happens that NR is much, much greater than capital. And this is what happens in most of the vehicles. Okay, this is what happens in the normal cases. So the internal resistance is much, much greater than capital R. Then what we are going to get, the current I is equal to E divided by R. Because E was NE and obviously R will be NR, capital R can be neglected. So this, this gets cancelled, you get E divided by R. Okay, we'll talk about this further, but one thing you should note down that if there was only one cell having EMF E and having internal resistance R, what would have been the current that would have been flowing? If I am assuming that this R, this 
internal resistance is much much higher than the external resistance then I can write I is equal to E by R this would be the current that you are going to get correct the same amount of current you are getting in this particular scenario also right so although what we see over here is that although on addition to on adding up cells like these in series what we are getting is a gain of voltage. Yes, we can increase the voltage, we can enhance the voltage by adding them up. But when it comes to current, when it comes to current, because on adding all of these up, what, what actually you are doing is when you connect them in series, eventually you are also increasing the value of the internal resistance, right? And so what we can say is that we do not get more current. Of course, the voltage is increasing, but the current can be thought to be exactly or similar to what would have happened if you were just using one single cell. Okay.